Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about your pulse rate in relationship to your sleep, okay? Um, people that have sleeping problems, sleeping disorders, generally have a higher resting pulse rate, okay? Medically, they just talk about the association. They don't talk about cause and effect. Um, I believe high pulse rate will keep you from sleeping, okay? It's not the other way around. It's not that sleep problems will increase your pulse rate. It's more, try to sleep with your pulse rate just going boom, 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 boom. You won't be able to rest or relax. In fact, when you go to sleep, your pulse rate should normally go down by 10 points or more sometimes. So what causes high pulse rate, okay? Uh, low potassium will do it. Why? Because you're not consuming enough foods with potassium or you have insulin resistance that's blocking the absorption of potassium. Very few people consume enough vegetables for that. Low B1, why? Because they're consuming too much refined flour and grains and wheat and sugar that depletes the B1. Stress will do it too. Number three, hyperthyroid conditions. That will definitely raise the pulse rate and keep you from sleeping. If you have a hyperthyroid condition, do not consume iodine or sea kelp. That will make it worse. Do not consume purified bile salts or gallbladder formula. Why? Because you're gonna convert more thyroid hormones and speed up the thyroid more. So that'll just make it more hyperthyroid. Number four, acidosis. When your pH in your blood becomes slightly lowered, it's less alkaline, more acidic, your pulse rate will go up too. That can happen when you're starting the ketogenic program or even if you're a diabetic or if you're consuming too many acidifiers. For example, let's say you're doing too much apple cider vinegar or kombucha tea. I remember one time I consumed just a whole bottle of kombucha tea, which is an, a very acid drink, and I felt my pulse rate just going bam, 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 bam. I couldn't sleep for like a few hours. So that could actually do it. Normally when you consume kombucha tea, you only want to do a little bit. I drank the whole bottle, not a good idea. So the bottom line is if you have a sleeping problem, don't forget to check your pulse rate. Normally it should be about 72 if it's too high. Then look at one of these four items to see if you can improve it, thus improving your sleep. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.